topographical maps on a Garmin automotive GPS device. For the example here I'm using the DriveSmart 50, although you could use this on just about any newbie drive or drive smart model, including up to present. And you'll notice I have something labeled track here. We'll get to that in a second. Now, first of all, GMAP tool. And by the way, before getting into this, I was inspired to do this by a conversation I had uh, in the comments on YouTube saying, hey, can I put uh, topographical stuff on the drive 52? And I said, well, maybe it, it could work. And uh, so I decided to test this myself. I said, okay, is this going to work? So where do you get topographical maps? Well, we get it from GMAP tool. Now, I do mention the uh, open map chest a lot. That's the place, to, and I will talk about that in a moment, to get open street maps, which is free maps. If you have a Garmin that does uh, not have lifetime maps anymore, or you just can't get it for whatever reason, you can go to open map chest and get it there. But if you really want to get into the sticks, so to speak, that's where the topographical stuff comes in. And uh, I will be comparing this to Google Maps in a moment. I have the same location marked. We'll get back to that in a moment. So anyway, and uh, I will have this linked. So if you want to download the topographical stuff, you can. This is broken into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different um, eight different things that you put into Basecamp. These are not images. You install the map data, and then from base camp it's burp, you get all this stuff so these are the regions here now I didn't download all of them but I did download uh, six of them I didn't need Alaska or Hawaii and this is how it's broken up and then when you click on each one for example the south central region you get a seven zip and although it says October 2022 which sounds old at the time I record this, you got to bear in mind the reason you would use this to begin with. When it comes to topographical data, well, the elevation is not going to change, and moreover, that the unpaved roads most likely will not change all that much either. So it's not really that big of a deal. And you'll notice that even 7 zipped, this thing is 2 gigs in size. That's compressed. So when you, and I'll show how much space this actually takes up in a moment. So you go ahead and download the stuff and you put it into Basecamp here. So what we have here is I've, this is the Garmin map. I've got the city navigator map but if I go to open map chest okay it looks like this. It doesn't mean it's blank. I just have to set the resolution a little higher. Okay so we've got our open map chest but then we have our topos. So if I use the South Atlantic region I'm sorry, South Central. Okay, and I bring it in here. And it looks different. But once I start, you know, zooming into this stuff, we're starting to see terrain, mountainous regions, and such. The more I zoom in here, I'm seeing even more, even more, even more, even more, even more. Yeah, that's crazy. And, uh, the the main advantage of using topos topo maps in uh, base camp is when I zoom in tight enough here should show yeah here's a little one right here so if I click this right here it says four thousand five hundred ninety three feet I actually do get elevation data in base camp and it will also show other things that are elevation specific or things that are specific that guys that do off-roading and hiking would use whereas if and th this is where this point uh, this waypoint I marked comes into effect okay this is literally in the middle of nowhere but it does have a road there is a road here and the nearest road from there if I just go over this way 
is what is that Texas 118 yeah so from there all yeah if I back up you can really see it so there's 118 and then all the way west into here now if I use the open map chest which is just regular road OSM it actually is still there I still do get those uh, unpaved roads I still do get it but see here's what happens if you use the Garmin map nothing because the Garmin map primarily concentrates on if I back up you can see it on regular roadways it does have some roads like over here you can see it some crazy stuff over there but the point is is that when you're getting really deep into the sticks like even if I put this on the highest possible um, resolution I'm not seeing I mean I see some over here it's got some but in not until you get to open street map do you see all this stuff and then when you go to the topo then you see all the elevation data and such now let's go over to uh, Google Maps now I have this location marked here and you'll notice that as I go to that location I'm just zooming in here yes I do get the terrain to, I mean as a matter of fact I can turn on the terrain okay that's cool and there's 118 and I can get in there okay so you can see this is basically in a canyon and then if I go to the uh, satellite view okay this is really really in the sticks and you might be fooled into thinking hey well if Google Maps has this why don't I just use that yeah good luck getting a signal out here you're not yeah, I mean look at this <laughs> no <laughs> it is true that yeah the highway is over well you barely can call this a highway but once you get really deep into the thick of things yeah you and yeah they do show the elevation here which is good but the deal is like right here in the middle of a canyon basically you're not getting a cell signal out there it's no and you can get the same data when you look at the topo map when you download it from uh, gmap tool and yeah that's what it looks like now if we were to install this stuff okay how do we install it well there's a reason that I have my drive smart plugged in because you can just do it you put in a memory card make sure it's blank um, no more than 32 gigs and let's just say I want to install this stuff I have all the topo maps here and I just go to install maps from maps install maps and it brings up this takes a second for it to think about it and it says please select the device you want to use to install maps on actually wait I don't know if I can actually put it on this one I tried it on a uh, an older Nuvi 1100 before and that seemed to work fine for installing this but yeah this is giving me grief oh we got a not responding oh hang on oh not cool okay let's try that again install maps you're gonna do it there we go okay yeah it choked first time so it says the following maps will fit but I go to customize okay now we're gonna see how much space this is actually gonna take up so I'm I'm not doing this one because that's just regular open street map I'm gonna do all the topos so uh, the six of them that I have so one two three four five six so yeah it's gonna take up that much space 14 I got 15 gigs free yep I could use 16 gigs of data is that correct two four yeah about so that's for the United States at least that's the contiguous United States not including Alaska and Hawaii um, 
I could go ahead and select all these once they're installed in Basecamp and hit continue and it will go ahead and compile the map images and send them over to the DriveSmart 50 which is nice. How long would this take? Um, two to four hours something like that and that's yes that is even if you already have them downloaded and installed to Basecamp because it's got to compile all the stuff and then it puts them all together it sends it all over the wire so if you decide to do this if you want a giant amount of topo data inside your drive smart 50 to where you go to settings and then maps and select the map to enable it later yeah it's it's gonna take several hours in order to do that and uh, the last thing I will say here is please bear in mind that if you decide to use these maps and you already have the regular Garmin maps here don't use them both at the same time because this can cause routing confusion not for you but for the Garmin itself because it's trying to compare two different map sets so if you use the topo data just go into settings and maps and uncheck the uh, city navigator maps from Garmin and only enable the topo maps and then you're all set and on an absolute end note it's like well okay what what's the point well I did mention that it shows things that the Garmin map doesn't show but the main point is that if you are going this deep into the sticks anything listed here that's shown is in fact routable you will notice that it says topo routable that is there's a huge difference between routable and non routable because if it's non routable then a new V driver drive smart will not be able to route you it will show it but it won't be able to give you any direction of where to go so if you mark a waypoint or something like that and you're like okay take me there using this track right here well unless it's routable it won't do it hence why you use a routable map that's it